If you are a major paleontology nerd like me, then you almost definitely grew up loving dinosaurs and everything surrounding them, from movies to shows to books to magazines and, of course, toys. Whether you viewed them accurately or not, they were always special and they're never uninteresting in my eyes. When I was around 11 or 12 years old, I began to really obsess about reading dinosaur books and finding out what these creatures were really like. I even remember having some National Geographic books which could have outlandish and unrealistically stupid facts, but no matter what, I would simply listen to what I'd said, and I, if I ever heard a fact that contradicted the book, I'd simply label it as false. Looking back, I was just a dumb kid like we all were at some stage, I guess. However, it was during this time I would ask myself, why do we not get taught about this in school? It seems strange because it would be such a cool subject or even just chapter of a school book to learn about. Now, when I'm much older and wiser on the subject, I've come to realise why it isn't taught in schools at all. And to be honest, I, I think you might see it as a good thing and I'll explain why. You see, paleontology is not quite like any other scientific field. It's one where everything about it all comes down to a small amount of evidence and a whole lot of speculation. And while other fields have this too, it's not to the scale that paleontology possesses. Because paleontology is all about the past. But not just the past, the past before us so long ago that we can barely imagine how different our world must have been. Now I know that I said it's a good thing that paleontology isn't a part of the school curriculum, or at least I view it that way, and I know that it might be hard to understand why, but personally I think it's better because it would be impossible to keep up to date with all the new discoveries and new changes in design that are coming out, that even a school book wouldn't, or anything would not be able to keep up with it, because paleontology changes so fast. Just imagine that you were in school in the 1950s and you were taught about it and then a student in the 1960s is taught about it. It would be completely different because one would be post-Renaissance. That's how, that's how vastly different times can be for paleontology and that's why maybe it's just a good thing to leave it as its own thing for when you visit college or to study on your own at home. And of course, a lot of kids as they become teenagers seem to be no longer interested in dinosaurs and see them as boring and cartoonish a lot of the time. So that you could imagine if you're learning about a subject you didn't like, and paleontology could be that for some kids. So it could take away a lot from the wonder and love that we have for dinosaurs, which I know it might seem like a bad thing that's not taught about in schools, but personally... I see it as a good thing, but at the same time, I would like to see at least maybe even a chapter in a science book in schools related to it, which would be something cool to see happen. Um, it would really help paleontology become more mainstream. Maybe that's just me, though. I want to hear what you think about paleontology. Could it be taught in schools? Would it be a good idea? What do you think, how people would react to it? Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.